Hey everybody, uh, it's time for another little gypsy caravan update. Uh, let you know where I am. This is my uh, lift test day, and I will show you what I mean by that. Let's see here. Okay, so there's the there's the little caravan, and I've got the <clears throat> top walls all complete, well, built uh, now, and uh, assembled over around the lower section. I've got uh, tarp uh, temporarily tagged onto the top. It's going to be a canvas top um, when it's done. And I have some, uh, if you remember from the earlier video, some laminated arch beams, five of them that'll go down the center to hold the top up. Um, as you can see, I've got some nice uh, window cutouts there. And uh, it's, there's one on every side. That's, you know, the back's going to have a big, just there, four foot by two foot windows. Got one over here on this side. Let me uh, get back around over here and um, I'll show you the, the lift system. So the walls are, you know, built the same. The top wall, same as the bottom ones. They're two inch thick with the XPS. Uh, used a two by two um, for the framing on this. Most of the bottom was one by two, except for the corner pieces and these um, door jams. <clears throat> so that I have some place for the door locks to uh go into and then but the, and also for the top one so there's two separate sections of door you can see the top section is got a nice little arch in it it's got gonna have a, a little uh porthole in the center there i've got a round 12 inch round window as well um and each one obviously will open separately the um top section here uh i made it all out of two by two uh and you can go on my blog and look i've got all the um more uh, details about the built um, steps that I went through. All of this is two by two framing, except for just along the top and bottom of the window. I just went by one by two <clears throat> on that because uh, it's not particularly structural. It just needs to have something for the uh, windows to clamp onto. Uh, and there's all kinds of sort of bracing and stuff in it. And this will again, I'll be covered with the uh, canvas and painted just like, you know, this is the bottom in here, this part here that's painted with a marine boat paint. It's got the decorative paint. I can't remember if I had that done last time or not. But um, anyway, so there's uh, corner braces on there that this comes down and we'll, um, I've got some clamps that'll lock down on that for uh, when it's in motion. Um, but I'm gonna show you my lift system here. So it's all, let's see if we can get in here. So I've got this cabinet door here. Um, and so you'll be able to get to this from both the inside and outside. And I'm, I cut a little inset here for this to go in. Uh, right now it's plugged into external shore power, but this will all be run off of my solar panels uh, and an inverter once those get installed on the <clears throat> roof and over the side or front and back windows are going to have uh, solar panels that act as uh, canopies that go up and down uh, but at any rate uh, so here's the this is the control panel for the for the control remote control sort of unit the control unit itself let me get in the cabinet here that's right now it's sitting right that's it right down there that little gadget down there and it'll be mounted over you know under the far corner as the electrical sort of corner where all my batteries and everything will be, but it's just down there for temporarily. Uh, anyway, this has got an up and a down, manual up and down, and then four presets with a memory so you can uh, set it just to push a button. It'll uh, go all the way up and down. These are electronic lift actuators, and you can see over there in the corner, I built a shelf. Uh, it's kind of dark and kind of cool and blue and uh, sort of like a nightclub-y in here right now. Uh, and I just, this is going to be my overhead cabinet. So they go, they go under, well, I'll show you this better once I get it lifted. But um, anyway, let's just, I put one is all the way down, four is all the way up. And then I've got some sort of intermediate settings because it's actually really tall. And to get to my overhead cabinets, it turns out they're going to be really high. So, and also, you know, I kind of, it just maybe one, like not all the way up. Uh, for wind resistance and and uh, whatnot. So uh, anyway, I will I will just hit four, and um, you'll see that this starts to go up. This tells you the inches, so it's uh, you can see over there it's starting to lift. And so three inches, it go, it goes up to thirty inches, and it takes seventy five seconds, a little over a minute for the whole thing to 
lift. Um, so while it's doing that, we'll just um, sort of back off a little here and have a look at it. Uh, so you can see it's just slowly going up. It's very quiet and it just goes really slow. You can see I've got, so I'll, I'll show you here along the top, um, I put this um, fuzzy along the inside, little fuzzy uh, draft excluder, they call that, whatever, some, um, uh, you know, weather stripping kind of stuff. And then this is that rubber sort of D seal. That's where the bottom of this is going to be when it's all the way up. And then, so I've got one half here, and then on the underside, underneath, just at the very bottom, there's another sort of, you know, mirror version of that. And so those will seal together. Once that's all the way up, um, that will those will seat um and i think you can i don't know if you can see there or not anyway it's uh it's got some of those under there um and <clears throat> it slows down once it gets all the way up the last minute or so but anyway that's what it looks like when it's all the way up uh, it's really tall it's like seven feet tall inside or some ridiculous thing <clears throat> i'm only five six so it's more than enough but you never know i might have tall friends over so with it up, you can get to the, I had to cut a little, uh, I, I sort of, this is an error. I, I had this in my plan to make these all real tight together so that they were even. The top of the shower, out, out, outdoor shower was even with the top of the hatch do, side hatch door. And the side hatch door, as you can see, is very tight. I'm going to have to even maybe sand, it opens, but it, it's really tight. So I'm going to have to maybe sand that down just a tad. Um, and the shower when I put it in the shower and the water inlets I just decided it well it just looks better if it's you know not crammed together so tight and then of course I realized oh there was a reason why I actually did that so I cut that out I'll put a little trim around it it'll look fine and actually it's it actually works out okay because it leaves a space for my heater water heater vent in the whatever you know if I like if I have the top down you can actually sit inside like when I sleep at night I might want to just put the top down because it doubles the thickness of the walls makes it four inches of insulation on, on, on the walls um, and that way I can still run the water heater um, to get hot water while I'm inside um, anyway uh, so let me let's go inside and uh, have a look and, and of course I've got this uh, I've got this bar across here still for the door because I I haven't put the doors in yet, obviously. I'm just doing a test of it to make sure it works all right. And uh, I just, in order to keep that from uh, bowing, I mean, it's pretty well braced on either side. It won't bow much, but I didn't want to risk it not, uh, <clears throat> you know, squaring up. I mean, this, this little arch right here would be the only other thing aside from just the corner. I mean, it's only got like three or four inches of overlap um when it's all the way up so just in, to keep it from having too much stress on that until i get the door uh in i just left this uh full piece across here so i'll just cut that out you know when when the door's done and i'm ready to put it in i'll just cut that out but for now it's a little bit <clears throat> dodgy to get in and out so anyway uh but here's the inside is well i don't know if you can see very well but it's there's the windows i got a nice little trim on the uh, door there on the inside and there'll be trim like that on the outside as well and um, when I get it all done the inside I had to go ahead and finish out because obviously you I mean I can get to the top part but I can't ever again be able to get to the last four inches of this um, you know down under here I won't ever be able to get to that um, to paint it so um, I had to finish that and I was going to do wood but I kind of liked just to make it lighter an airier I decided to just go with a nice I had this oyster white um, that I was going to use for the exterior for a lighter um, it's that same marine boat paint so it's really heavy duty and um, it'd be really easy to clean and um, it will in case there's any splash up you know in between the crack when it's uh, on the road you know it won't hurt it because it's exterior you know boat paint so anyway so this is the way that these are you just screwed up in here into the bottom of this is going to be um, the overhead cabinets and I'm going to cut another piece of arched uh, facing for that with a couple of doors that um, come down uh, to be able to get to that. Um, and so that's what it's pushing. I'm, they're just in their temp. I'm going to have to lower it and then uh, take those back out so I can finish them, stain them, finish them, paint them, whatever I'm going to do. Um, but I needed to, you know, do this test to make sure that the lifts were going to work correctly and they do so you know you've got a nice uh, kitchen unit there with a stove sink you know nice view out the f the window front window you got a door on the side which had a 
can you know open it it's got a round porthole and then you know this is going to be my uh dinette area with three windows uh and it's going to have you know little cushions and a nice table right here and then it folds down into a bed so that'll be my dinette slash sleeping area and again i'll have another overhead cabinet back here um so you know clothes or whatever extra stuff i want to throw up there i don't want to make them too big um you know i'm going for lightweight so i don't want to carry a ton of stuff but uh um you know just a little extra overhead is you know space is good i got lots of storage in these um these uh bench seats right here and of course i got all kinds of you know my electronics and plumbing and i've still got to do the hatch down there i've got that all finished out and that's about it so uh you know i'm gonna put the windows in obviously but uh, uh other than that the inside uh i mean i've got tons of trim and stuff i'm gonna put some you know this top so this is all gonna have the same that corner trim there you know saying that's outside that's all going to be along the top here i'm going to put some uh tile backsplash for that um got to do the upper cabinets the doors got to build those and uh make some i'm gonna finish my you know build my I'm a table i just need to get a leg front leg and put the track in that's going to be quick and easy and then i need to make some um some nice cushion seats i've got fabric and foam for that just need to sew them up and then uh, the beams are done as you know i've made five laminated beams to go up there um so those just need to get cut in little slots where those are going to go i've got them marked up there there's five of them so i'll just cut little slots where those sit in and then they'll be drilled in and then um there's a headliner material a couple of layers of some insulation and uh then another layer of marine vinyl uh over the top of that uh is what the roof's gonna be and um so it'll look a lot like this except white and um it's very dirty in here because there's construction going on over across the way and so i'm gonna have to do a big clean in here before i do much much else anyway that's sort of that's it man that's my lift so um let's just we'll put it down now and get back outside here you can as i said you can uh, access this from inside or outside um and uh we're just gonna it only goes up to notice it only goes up to 29.8 and it only goes down to 0.2 so there's 0.4 uh, it's not a full 30 inch there's a 0.4 uh shortage which is one of the things that made my little hatch door on the side a little bit overly tight um but that's okay it's no big deal anyway so i'll just hit one and um we'll just i need some like outro music or something you know um doo -doo 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 -doo. and you'll just see it takes about uh I, I timed it at 75 seconds to go all the way up and down it's slow and steady and it runs smoothly uh, on those four corner like I said, I've only got, uh, I've got these, just these four corner uh, corners with trim. The trim here is thicker than this, so this isn't touching. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, and this part here doesn't touch. This is thicker, so um, it does. And then on the inside, you see there's just the, um, it's just the thinner, you know, like this. It's, it's two inch instead of the three inch, so. There's only, let's see if I can get up in here, you can actually watch this go down. So it's just that, it's hard to see it, but uh, sorry, it's not focusing well. But anyway, it's, uh, it's going to squish me if I don't get out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it goes all the way down, uh, back to where it's supposed to be. And uh, it takes about, yeah, like I said, about 75 seconds-ish. Something like that. And that is how that works uh, so that's it for this time i've just got a lot of you know paint and trim and all that kind of stuff and uh finished my cabinet overhead cabinets my my, my canvas top on and then that's plumbing solar panels and uh, propane stuff so that's it so that's probably i'll probably won't do another video until i'm done with um really pretty much done with it and i'll just give you another walk through uh maybe when i get done with the roof i'll do another one but that's that's where i am at right now with the gypsy caravan project take care